All right, 602. Now let's get to our top stories here. We now know the name of the IMPD officer who shot and killed Drejan Reed last month. Officer DeJour Mercer is a four year veteran with the department. He is currently on paid leave. CBS4 has learned that Mercer never had any disciplinary actions. He actually won officer of the year just a week prior to the shooting. The department also released the name of the officer who was disciplined for comments he made at the scene. Those comments referring to a closed casket. Officer Steven Scott's personnel file shows he used language or gestures considered rude or demanding, which is against IMPD's code of conduct. And Nick protesters were out again last night saying while they're happy to hear those names, they still want IMPD to take action. Yeah, that's right, Ange. About 100 protesters marched to Monument Circle and other parts of downtown. Indy 10 Black Lives Matter organized the event saying the latest release is just a small victory in a larger fight for transparency. So we still have demands remaining. Uh, we want those officers to be fired. The pensions need to be revoked. The officer who shot and killed Drejan needs to be held accountable for murder. And lastly, we want them to tell the truth. The protests wrapped up around 9 p.m. They're expected to be out again the rest of the week. The special prosecutor assigned to the Reed case has requested the Indiana State Police do an independent investigation into Reed's death. Madison County Prosecutor Rosemary Corey says it's in the best interest of everyone involved that IMPD not conduct that investigation. As this is happening, IMPD Chief Randall Taylor addressed the decision to release the officers' names at a press conference. My intention was never to uh, keep names uh, of the officers involved indefinitely. Uh, I just wanted to make sure uh, that that threat assessment had indeed gone down. And I would hope with information that's put out and, and other information that will be put out uh, probably later on in the week, uh, that people will handle that information responsibly. In the days after the shooting, there were multiple threats made to IMP officers. Chief Taylor says the threat assessment has gone down.